Demonstrators again took to the streets of Peru's capital, Lima, this Thursday to protest the Speaker of the Congress taking over as the country's new president after Martin Vizcarra was removed from office. Police clashed with demonstrators in the streets outside the Congress building as Congress Speaker Manuel Medina was sworn in, with reports of at least 30 people arrested and an unspecified number of injuries as security forces fired tear gas. Clashes also occurred in the cities of Arequipa and Cusco. Vizcarra was removed in an impeachment vote over corruption allegations late Monday. Critics have claimed that Marino, aged 59, is supported by a number of criminal organisations, while noting his name several right-wing figures to key cabinet positions. According to several analysts, Peru is facing a serious political crisis stemming from the pervasive corruption that exists across all of its political and legislative institutions. The protests have continued throughout the night as Peruvians are now bracing for more instability. The country faces a devastating pandemic, the deepest economic crisis on record, and now the fourth president in five years. Vizcarra has been accused of the same crimes he pledged to combat, becoming Peru's sixth president in a row to be investigated for corruption after leaked witness testimonies appeared to show him accepting bribes during his time as a provincial governor. Vizcarra came to power after the previous president, Pedro Pablo Kuczynski, resigned in one of several corruption scandals that have ensnared politicians, businessmen, judges and prosecutors in recent years. As Kuczynski's vice president, Vizcarra stepped into the office. While polls show that the vast majority of Peruvians want Vizcarra to face justice, his swift removal by Congress before the accusations were proven has provoked even greater public outrage. Hundreds of protesters took to the streets in the capital Lima on Tuesday to denounce what they called a congressional coup, accusing lawmakers of perverting justice for a personal benefit in a moment of grave national crisis. The clashes of riot police have continued as the mobilizations enter their third day. The criticism of Vizcarra's ouster was amplified by its timing. The former president had eight months left in office and had said he would not seek re-election in the general elections scheduled for April next year. It also promised to face the prosecutors to defend himself against corruption charges after leaving power. In his defence speech in Congress, shortly before being impeached, he had accused his opponents of hypocrisy, pointing out that 68 of the country's 130 congressmen were under investigation for crimes such as corruption or money laundering themselves. Under Peru's law, lawmakers enjoy parliamentary immunity, a benefit that Vizcarra had unsuccessfully attempted to remove during his campaign to overhaul the country's governance. And this Thursday afternoon, demonstrators explained why they were mobilizing against the move in Peru. I am protesting against the congressman who impeached our president of the republic with a little time left in the term of his candidacy, which generates an extremely high instability in our country. I have come to protest so that education is not changed and so that education is not sold. I am protesting against the reforms that they are trying to pass in Congress to defend the national superintendents of higher university education as an authority so that they evaluate universities so that they do not continue to sell us a crappy education. I think it is a march to bring us all together.